This training video was developed by the Statistical Services Centre at the University of Reading in the UK and is part of a range of resources aimed at researchers. This particular video looks at using the compression tool within Windows to create and open zip files. There are several commercial compression tools available, for example WinZip and WinRAR. In addition, there is a compression tool within Windows itself, which can be used to create and open zipped files. A file name extension is a set of characters that helps Windows understand what kind of information is in a file. It appears at the end of the file name, following a dot. Extensions are generally associated with particular applications, and these associations are set up when the application is installed. For example, .doc is generally associated with MS Word. Historically, extensions were all three characters, but this restriction has been lifted in recent versions of Windows. For example, .docx is now the extension for Microsoft Word 2007. Double-clicking on a file will open the associated application. The extension for Zipped files is generally .zip. The default on many systems is to hide the extensions, as shown here. To show the extensions, go to the Control Panel and Folder Options. On the View tab, in the Advanced Settings list, Untick the checkbox for Hide Extensions for Known File Types. Click OK and you should now see the file name extensions. A word of caution here, you must take care when renaming files not to change or omit the file extension as this could render the file unusable. On my PC, I have WinRAR installed, so zip files are associated with this application. If I double-click the zip file, WinRAR itself will open. I can bypass this association by right-clicking on the file and choosing Open With, followed by Windows Explorer. This will show me the contents of the file. To extract the files, I click on Extract All Files. By default, this will create a subfolder of the current folder, which has the same name as the zip file. I can use Browse, though, to um, select a different file folder if I want to. If I click Extract, this will create this folder and extract the files for me. In Windows XP, Right click on the file and choose Open With, followed by Compress Zip Folders. This shows the files within the zip file. To extract the files, click Extract All Files in the left hand panel. This takes you into the Extraction Wizard. Click Next. Make a note of the folder to which the files will be extracted. Use Browse if you want to change this. Click Next to start the extraction. Click Finish and you will be shown the extracted files. To create a zip file, firstly select the files you want to zip together. Right click on one of the selected files, taking care not to cancel the selection, and choose Send To followed by compressed zipped folder. This will take the file name from the selected file and add the extension .zip. The file can be renamed in the usual way, taking care not to change the extension. There are four points to note here. One, file extensions are often hidden. Use folder options from within control panel to display them. The extension .zip can be associated with whatever 
compression tool is installed on your PC. Right click to open with the Windows compression tool or Windows Explorer. Make a note of the where the files are being extracted to.